Razer always unveils some crazy concept project at CES, and this year was no different. Last year we saw a massive three-screened laptop. The new project Linda is looking to bring your phone into the mix to create the ultimate mobile hybrid. You all probably remember the Motorola lap dock. Project Linda takes that concept and brings it into the modern world by literally making your Razer phone the trackpad and brains for your laptop. It connects via USB-C in the trackpad area, and it's essentially the form factor of a Razer Blade Stealth with half an inch of added thickness to make the phone level with the surface. They've taken most of the components out of the Blade Stealth besides things like the battery, which actually works like a quick charging battery bank when your phone's inserted. It's got over 53 watt hours of capacity, and it can charge your phone to full three times before you need to charge it again. Razer's also added a dual array microphone to the top of the laptop because they really want you to be able to do everything you do on your phone in the laptop form factor. You can video chat, type texts and emails, and even take calls on this thing. So there's really no reason you'd need to go back to your phone outside the laptop. Razer's planning on making the display 120 hertz as well because they really want the laptop to mirror the Razer phone's capabilities. That way you'll be able to play games, watch videos, and do whatever else you do on your phone on a larger screen and with a full keyboard. The keyboard's Chroma too, if that matters to you, and it includes a variety of Android navigation keys as well. It's powered by USB-C, but sadly it's not Thunderbolt 3 for now. You probably don't need an external graphics card for your phone, but the possibility made me a bit giddy and I needed to ask. You've also got USB-A and a headphone jack, so you should essentially be able to do pretty much anything you'd normally do on an Ultrabook. Linda's also got 200 gigs of onboard storage standard, so you can store movies, pictures, or whatever other files you might need as well. The biggest question I had was about longevity, since we can probably expect a second generation Razer phone to launch sometime later this year. The rep told me they've got a history of keeping the designs relatively consistent, so we can probably assume the Razer Phone 2 will work with this as well. There still isn't a release date or price point set for this thing, but I really hope it actually launches, because it's one of the most well-executed laptop phone hybrids I've seen. We'll make sure to keep you up to date with the information as it hits, because of course, we are your source for all things Android.